Hey guys, Jim here, coming back with another video. It is Saturday, hope you all are having a great start to your weekend. I went to a card show today in Coventry, Rhode Island. Typically, it is uh, once yearly, usually it is on Super Bowl weekend, um, end of January, early February. But due to the pandemic and all the restrictions, they had to postpone it this year and they had it this weekend. <clears throat> uh, I wasn't really planning on going actually um, gonna be going to the national which is coming up in three weeks so didn't really want to spend too much money but I figured I'll go check it out you know see how it's going they were they were saying that they were expecting a hundred dealers there um, as it turns out tropical storm Elsa came right through New England yesterday and <clears throat> the show actually started yesterday and apparently Due to the tropical storm coming through, a lot of the dealers did not show up. Uh, it looked like they had about maybe 50 dealers. It was nowhere near 100, I'm, I'm quite sure of that. But um, a lot of nice cards, a lot of, a lot of vintage, which I was very happy. I would say 80, 90% vintage, uh, which I was very happy to see because the, the last several card shows that I've gone to in this area have been like 95% modern and very little vintage. So that was great. And um, like I said, I wasn't really looking to spend a lot of money. Um, so what I did find a great deal on some cards. So I picked up a few cards, um, but I only spent 20 bucks and I'll just show you guys what I got for 20 bucks. I got this 1976 Carlton Fisk. I got this 1964 Mini Minoso, 1970 Willie McCovey, and I got some Jordans, Ionix. I got a 1990, 90, what is it, 94 upper deck, Jordan. Pretty cool card. Got this 96 SP. Very nice card. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a 96 Skybox. Very nice card. Here's the back. I think it looks awesome. And a, another upper deck, Jordan. So got all those four all those cards, including the Carlton Fisk slab for 20 bucks. So couldn't pass that up, but it was great looking at the cards, had a really good time. But the highlight of my month up till now was meeting former Red Sox and MLB pitcher Bill Lee, the spaceman. And he was gracious enough. I got to speak with him for quite a while. He was gracious enough to let me ask him a few questions while I was recording. I didn't want to take up too much of his time because he was very busy and it was very nice of him to let me interview him quickly. So I just asked him a few questions and I am gonna turn the camera over and let you guys see that interview. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Here's the interview with Bill Lee, and bye for now. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Bill Lee, 14-year Major League player with the Boston Red Sox and Montreal Expos. How are we doing today, Bill? I'm vertical. That's always a plus. Kind of, but I'm sitting, so. That's always a plus. Now, you're still playing ball, is that correct? This Sunday at 11 o'clock at the Berry Farm in Charlotte. Uh, tickets are on sale right now. Uh, they're zero. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. All now, you got to do is show up. It's hard to find the Berry Farm. It's off a of dirt road. <laughs> where is it now? Where, in where? Northern Vermont. Northern Vermont. But everything's off a of dirt road. We have more dirt roads than any other state in the Union. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, that sounds pretty awesome. I would actually really love to watch you play. Um, how's, how's that going? Uh, we're in second place. We lost uh, to the number one team two weeks ago, uh, a team called CVU. I lost to a double A pitcher that used to be with the Red Sox called Ethan Merrill. Oh. And he's 46 or 47 years old, and I'm 74 years old. And That's they beat amazing. me because the little bastards butted on me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> 74 years old and still are going out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and I have, I, I can get to the ball. I just have trouble picking up the Easter egg. <laughs> That's what keeps you young, right? Keep well, playing. Well, it does. It, I'll probably die on a field, but I just hope it ain't the berry field. Yeah, maybe you'll have a smile on your face when you do it. Well, I probably will. That's good. That's good. So I can remember um, right around the mid-70s, 75, 76, I was just getting into baseball at the time as a very young kid. And I just loved those Red Sox teams back then. And you were definitely one of my favorites playing. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, so those were some good times. So thinking back to that, um, did you have a favorite teammate or someone that you really enjoyed playing with back then? Or? Well, we had a group called the Buffalo Head Gang. Okay. It was Rick Wise, Ferguson Jenkins, Bernie Carbo, Jim Willoughby, and myself. And we kind of all hung out together, and uh, we were best friends. And, and we all got traded, and the Red Sox fortunes kind of declined after that. Yeah, they did for a while. Fergie uh, tore his Achilles tendon, and I got in the brawl. And, 76 and they just kind of whittled us down yeah 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 well that was very unfortunate of course um you know the red sox management was uh not so great back then well it was in transition yeah guys were dying yaki died mrs yaki and haywood took it over and then they fought with buddy larue and then they had to sell it in the harrington trust you know and then finally john henry bought them and uh, they turned the corner and in 04, they won it. In 07, they won it. In 13, they won it. In 18, they won it. And well, thank all's God. right with the world. That know? was true. I'll never forgive uh, Haywood Sullivan for letting uh, Freddie Lynn and Fisk, Fisk and just, Burleson, all three of just them. let them walk. Uh, Wasn't that sad? That was terrible. It was terrible. I'll never forget it. Gutted our ball club. Absolutely. And then they sent me to Montreal for Stan Pappy. And that figure. was the tragedy. It was a tragedy. It really was. How, speaking of Montreal, how did you enjoy playing in Montreal? Loved it. I bet. I stayed. You know, I, I played four years for them, and uh, I loved it. I got a wife out of it, a new wife. Uh, I got a daughter, moved to Vermont, built a farm, and uh, basically retired uh, about exactly 100 kilometers from Montreal. Very, very nice, very nice. Montreal, I really would like to see them get a team back again. I think, I've been working on it. I think that's a great place to have a major league team, and it was too bad that, you know, it didn't work out over there for the Expos, but hopefully... Especially 94, when they were leading the league, and the strike came, and then the fans never came back. And yeah. Like, and Brockman basically got rid of the team. He gave it to Claude Brochu, and Claude Brochu ran it in the ground, spent the luxury tax that they were supposed to get, didn't invest, and uh, then they took the team away from them. Yeah, it was very unfortunate. Hopefully one day it will come back. True. And so um, you have some very nice um, memorabilia here. Yeah, that you, um... I, it's all my life. It's, uh, you know, I got t-shirts, I have hats, uh, got, you know, things that, I have a wine company, my son's a graphic designer, I've made four documentaries, I got books, and I work for Axis Bat in Fall River, Massachusetts. So I make bats, and you can go there and get the Bill Lee bats with the big knobs, and uh, I teach kids how to hit. So do you have a website or anything like that where if Just anybody... Axis, A-X-I-S. Axis... Axis Bat. Dot com? Dot com. So if anybody's interested in buying any of Everything your Everything right there, yeah. Very good, very good. I'm going to have an office down there, it'll be a little museum to my career in Fall River, and that's where I'll probably end up in the business side of the thing. That's awesome, yeah, that's awesome. Well, I really appreciate your uh, taking a few minutes to speak with me. I, I very much enjoyed the conversation. Thank you very much. And um, good luck with you. Thank you. Thank you.